Hello traders, this is Igor from FX Eager YouTube channel and today I'm continue my I think the day number nine trading with the trades with Edge, the prop company they want to test, will they pay, will they trustworthy, we will see in this video. So the first thing as you know I have a two-phase account, it's a 100,000 account. Um, the first thing here is that I'm trying to achieve 10% profit in the phase one, 5% in the phase two and then I should get a prop funding account. Uh, of course, the this company Trade with Edge is um, correlated with a sister company Swift Trader, where the traders can trade too. I don't know are these companies trustworthy. So all these videos is some kind of the testing here. Uh, today is very important day, as you know. Today we have a no farm payroll change because it's in November one, November first. Uh, so we have expectation that. Um, employment change should be less um, uh, in November. We want to see is it true or not. Um, of course, uh, expectations are different. Um, I expect that we can see the bad results for US dollar for non-farm payroll, so, um, and for average early earnings and from non-farm employment change. Um, so because of that, I'm against the US dollar. So let me see my, my account. So this is the my funded account that I'm trading. I have a loss. My loss is almost 5% in last few days. The problem that I had was a, a huge spike that we had um, in last uh, last day of the October. As you know, the price was around 1.3 level. Uh, we had very strong price. I suppose that we could see some kind of the breakout. I put my larger stop loss unfortunately price started to go without any news very strong and downtrend and around the institutional re level of 1.285 the price stopped and after that we see some small pullback and we are around 1.29 level right now however i took the chance this morning to find a low in the early morning and i made a, as you can see a trades very small risky trades with a five six pip stop loss in the beginning right now it's a break even the same thing i did for gold because the gold uh, is the same story look this look this drop yesterday i lose money on the british pound dollar and on the gold after this huge spike and uh, my draw my drawdown was uh, you know uh two times up to two percent two and a half percent something like that and after that i made overall overall withdraw of the five percent uh, of course um, i see some kind of the upside small movement of the gold and I, I just try to enter into a lower level here and the right now I'm break even all these trades maybe I a little bit push higher my stop loss to make even better protection before the NFP because for the huge volatility sometimes because of the slippage you can lose you know 15 20 pips uh, because of the slippage so I will calculate that slippage and uh, I will use that um, that knowledge before the news and I will try to achieve any kind of the profit so right now I'm a three thousand dollars in profits at three percent uh, it's a little bit aggressive of course uh, I will close few trades before NFP some will I will just put it to go to go in that direction and uh, I expect to see um, the better results for US dollar if we see that um, the market will change completely why because in that case uh, we can see the strong push for uh, British pound dollar and uh, uh, we can see the break of the 1.3 level and the break one of the 1.3020 level after that as you can see we are uh, on the weekly bullish trend and we are on the on the you know um, we are trying to 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 accomplish and to to fight against the uh, October October uh, high which is uh, I think 1.307 if I think just to, just to check here on the monthly chart I will check the weekly chart so as you know we 
we had uh yes the last week and the league before yes 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 so the price uh price fight around 1.31 level for example last three weeks we have the 1.31 level as a, as as a next resistance 307 as the next resistance so this is this is the somehow the way how we see the market so this this news can be crucial um i will wait to see what will happen here i believe that we can see a, a trend shift if if the results are very very bad and uh as you can see the euro dollar the dollar uh, is a much better shape than the british pound dollar because the last four days are bullish so last four days were bullish for euro dollar and today will a little bit pull back very little pull back it's a you know 20 20 pips something like that and we're waiting the news to see the next steps and what will happen here so i will monitor my trades i will try to to protect my account of course if i make the loss or be a break even after the, this news i will try to reduce really to reduce my risk and maybe i will raise 0. 5 percent from then and maybe i will steady grow my account so i do not rush with the prop companies i own i try to avoid any kind of rush i'm trying to to achieve achieve my target don't worry if you make a huge drawdown five for six percent seven percent and people try to recover and to increase this position size do not do that just just reduce position size just try to pick the better a setups be calm and in one moment you will see how your portfolio will start to be better better and better and you will be very very soon in a good position so this is it i monitor my trades right now we are in, in, a, in a good shape and i will just monitor and see what will happen so this is it i wish you the great weekend bye bye